four and a half billion years ago in a galaxy we call the Milky Way, a cloud of gas and dust began to collapse. And we believe that perhaps that started from a supernova that uh, exploded nearby. That collapsing gas and dust begin, began to form primitive bodies. We call asteroids today. One such body is Bennu. This is a dark asteroid that we have found and that we're going to hunt down, we're going to orbit, we're going to take a good look at it, and we're going to bring back a sample. This is a fantastic mission. One of the amazing things about OSIRIS-REx is it actually addresses all of the science goals that, the planetar that planetary science has at NASA. OSIRIS-REx is going to help us understand how the solar system works and the, bodies, the nature of the bodies in the solar system. It's going to help us understand how the solar system formed. It's going to inform our understanding for uh, the potential for life uh, in the solar system on Earth and elsewhere. But it also advances our more practical goals of understanding the resources of the uh, near-Earth solar system as well as the hazards. This is a space rock that is primitive, that, that dates back to, you know, over four and a half billion years ago, and it's carbon rich, so we know there's potential for organic molecules to be there within that material we bring back. So it's important because it helps us understand really the formation of our solar system. That's kind of a big deal. And we go through actually a series of maneuvers. The great thing about Bennu is it's big enough that we can actually go into a, an orbit around it. And once we leave the orbit around it, we actually do a series of maneuvers. There's two additional maneuvers that we do that both match the asteroid's spin rate and then put us on a trajectory where we go down towards the asteroid. So we actually do take thrusters and push ourselves gently towards the asteroid. 